On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be using the mag of holding on two very underrated pistols, starting with the hidden gem that is the WSP Stinger and the deceptively powerful 9mm Damon. Let's go test them out. So the other day I was streaming doing one of our weapon testing streams where we just go in with Maggle holding and see if any weapons are any better with it or if we can just find some nice ones. And during that stream, another fellow Joe, Jajo, suggested that we use these and I tried them out and they were tearing. So I just want to give credit where credit's due. Thank you for suggesting it. And as for our Damon here, I don't remember when we tested this out, but I do remember it being pretty powerful. But here are all the comments I could find of those of you suggesting both these weapons. So thank you guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and pack a punch of these, get them up. Rated. And from what they were saying about these stingers, what makes them good now is that apparently their fire rate has been buffed. And we just mowed through those tier two zombies like it was nothing. How much ammo do we have here? 640 reserve, 64 in each mag. And then after we pack a punch our daemon, we get 40 in the mag in 600 reserve. Not too shabby. How's this doing against tier two zombies? Two tap kill. Now let's take down a quick HVT with these. I already popped our Maggle holding. We'll get a full ammo count once we get this guy down. Slaying through his armor. And let's finish him with the daemon. One, two, three, four, five. Gone. All right, we've made it to an ammo cache. How much does this have? 768. That's not bad. I could see us running out of ammo, though, if we are shooting this quite a bit. And we have 640 with our daemon. Now, let's use just the daemon for this one. We had a collab kill on our last HVT. I just want to see what they can do on their own. And this disciple's basically already dead. He broke his mask almost immediately and took his health down almost just as fast. Oh, now these mercs got a problem. This doesn't do as well against them. But lucky for us, they brought us a vehicle. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. I will be taking this and I'll be on my way. Have a good one, fellas. All right, your time to shine, stingers. Immediately broke his helmet and immediately killed him. I think just what we got to do with these weapons is stay as close as possible to wherever we're shooting at because the damage range on these is like hilariously small. So that's why I got these bad boys in a Kimbo in this in just a single pistol because this is more of our long range weapon for the day. But we got enough money to get one of them pack a punch three. So let's make our way into tier three and to just dip our toe into tier three before we fully get these pack a punch. What can we do against these guys just pack two? Let's throw a quick decoy and let them have it already taking out zombies what about a fully armored fully armored also going down bearing my my aim let's throw another decoy and we'll give the daemon a test this is just our hip fire with it which i'm kind of planning on using the most and our aim down sight we took out an armored zombie pretty easily these are pretty strong dude I'm liking them. Let's grab this Outlast contract and start earning some real money. But the question is, which one of these weapons do I get to pack three? Because they're both obviously powerful, but I think I'm going to go with the brain dead choice and use the stingers. Because I don't want to think. I just want to look and shoot. But give me that. And now against tier three zombies. Gone. Even faster. These are so nice, dude. Oh, wait, have I been calling them the stingers or are these the swarms? I always get the WSPs mixed up. Either way, I think these might be on par or maybe even better than our other WSPs. I think they got them beat on ammo count and, you know, definitely damage range. But if we're talking about like up close and personal, these things can probably contend. But come on, game. I'm uh, about dry on legendary Aether tools. I have like one more left. So why don't you be a doll? And let me get some from this contract. Thanks. Thanks in advance. I think as long as we're like killing zombies with these and not like mainly focusing on like a mega bomb or something, ammo shouldn't be a problem for us. You know, just kill stuff, pick up ammo, and keep it moving. Or get a max ammo. That's also a way to do it. And that's the contract. Now remember what we talked about, game. They did not remember. Oh, abomination. Long time no see, pal. Let's do our favorite thing where I just kill you. Let's do it up close and personal. Mouth is immediately gone. Mangler, you're ruining the moment. You need to die. Thank you. And this abomination needs to take a chill pill and stop trying to bite at me. Here we go. Let's Aether Shroud. Get up close and personal again. You break another face. Not looking like it, at least not yet. I'm getting my face broke though. Oh, and another team is showing up. Guys, don't you know that I'm trying to test out weapons one at a time? Oh, he ate my decoy, you, you fat fuck. 
I was trying to throw that to distract all these zombies, but no. Do I have any more self revives? I do. I got one more. We're fine. You big bastard, dude. You know what? This test has been tainted anyways. I'm going to fuck off and go do an outlast. Ooh, and remember what I was saying about ammo? It's starting to happen. Uh-oh. Good thing that Damon can still compete up here. I'm going to need you guys to drop me some. Oh, somebody subbed in here. Thanks, dude. So that's who is helping me. Now, all we need to do is complete this contract and we'll have both our weapons fully packed, which will be nice if we ever run into a situation where we're running out of ammo again. Oh, get out of my way. Let me get that double points before the contract ends. That should give me 10,000, right? Yes, sir. Even more than that, because we had a little bit of a boost. Double points at the end of a contract has got to be like the best thing ever. Oh, and a sigil. Don't even really need it. Or actually, I don't need any of this. I'm about, I'm about to start breaking ankles, breaking kneecaps. I don't get what I'm owed. Could I at least throw a self-revive in there for a little old me. And now we have both of our weapons pack a punch three. Who wants to have this tested on them? Oh, this mangler, the only zombie for miles, apparently. What's up, Mangler? No helmet for you. And no head for you. Yeah. I'd make the same reaction. Against these tier 3 zombies, though. It seems to do really well against flesh and basically just pierce right through armor. It's like a one-tap to any helmet. Oh, Stormcaller. Don't think I forgot about you, pal. Come here. Oh, somebody already did some damage to you? Either that or just the few shots I just took at those zombies did it. Let's Aether Shroud on them. Get up real nice and close. Look how fast his health is draining. Okay, we got to save some health for the daemon. Let's stop him from healing. Let's throw a decoy and give this a test. The daemon's still pretty good against him. It's definitely doing damage, but these are like insane against him. Oh, a nuke. I kind of want to hit that, but I feel like it's going to kill him. Yeah, actually heal. Heal up. Go for it. I can I can test the daemon on you more if you heal. This is the one of the only times I want you to. Is there actually a health cap you can get to from healing off one heal sesh? One suck suck? I think there is. Do another decoy. All right. Now let's go back with the daemon. Actually heal some more. Go for it. Oh, you can't even get higher than that. You know what? You don't even want to heal yourself. All right. I'm done playing around. Stinger time. All zombies. Deceased. Stormcaller, about to be deceased. Hold on. Zombies got out of my way. No healing for you. Ooh. Now these zombies would stay the hell out of my way so I can just complete this mission. Bye, Stormcaller. These things are nasty. All right, now let's go hunting. We got to find some abominations. You know what? This isn't even my bounty, but I'm going to fight it. What are they going to do? Tell me not to. What's up, dude? I hunt you for sport, not for the reward. If you have a legendary aether tool, I wouldn't be mad about it. So he broke his face almost immediately. We didn't take a whole lot of damage off him, though. You know what? Maybe up close ain't working. Let's take a step back, hit him with the daemon. Yeah, shoot that laser. Let's go for the middle face. Ooh, that's taking his health down pretty fast. We'll drop shot him, too. I thought somehow that might make me go under this hill a little bit, so the laser wouldn't hit me. I thought wrong. And broke the middle face. And since I'm on to my last self revive, I'm going to throw on Napalm Burst to this. Just so we get a little extra damage on him. Oh, there you go. Oh, we don't got any more armor left. But he is very close to dying. Got him. Perfect. You guys are welcome. That's a free bounty on the house. Now just let me get a contract for my own. The only contract I can seem to get a hold of here in tier 3 is this Outlast. They're just hoarding all the bounties. Do I gotta sit in camp to try to get a bounty? Is that what this world's come to? Camping and zombies? As if I haven't been doing that the last few years in Cold War? Well, I see a contract and I think I'm the closest to it. Let's hope we can just outrun somebody with a scorcher. Come on, we're almost there. Somebody's flying in. No, you leave my contract alone. It's mine. Give me that. Yeah, so much for your scorcher, bitch. Oh, and it's an abomination too. We already know we can take one of these bad boys out. Oh, and we got two abominations, actually. You know what? Let's get our fight in that we didn't get before. We'll get to our, our bounty in a second. Quick decoy. You come here. Face is going to be gone immediately. Not even a chance to think. Let's hit an Aether Shroud. Still stay up close and personal on him. And then Psych. Backtrack. Light him up with the daemon. You keep that mouth open. Look at this health just draining. Yeah, shoot that laser. 
Middle face gone immediately. Dude, this thing is nasty. So much damage. Is this team over here just watching me fight this? Look at them. Just standing up there. Waiting. Has the roles reversed? Are they fighting my bounty now? And this should be his last laser. Got him. Oh, and they're so fast to get onto my loot. Dickheads. Look at them. They just sat there and waited. Scoundrels. Actual vultures. This used to be an honorable game. Let's see if they did any damage to our, our big boy over here. No, they did not. They just sat and watched. Waited for me to do all the work. It's like a group project. Let's take this disciple out. That is the biggest threat right now. Oh, maybe I should have taken any zombies out. I think this is my last self revive. That's not good. We're going to have to pull out the daemon. This thing is our abomination killer. We just have to keep a watchful eye out for these zombies. Actually, you know what? I'm throwing a decoy. And by decoy, I mean monkey bomb. Try to eat that one, you big bitch. Yeah, shoot a laser. That's a face gone. Right about there. No way, no way, no way, no way. <sighs> did it really not break? I did half his health and damage and it didn't break. Okay. Bro's got a strong jaw. Now let's see about his throat. You got that wet wet? That gushy? Middle's gone. Oh, and he's so close to dying. I really just need to kill him here so we can get a self-revive out of his loot. There we go. And we didn't get it. Okay. We need to run. We need to go find a shop. I'm so confident in these weapons. We don't even need a self-revive. But I would definitely prefer to have one. Because if those guys were so willing to just sit there and watch me fight just to take my stuff, they definitely will not revive me. We're on our own out here. Now, the storm's on its way, but we got another bounty. I can't just let that sit there. Oh, and it's another abomination. I can take these things out all day. All right, what's up, abomination? I'll actually use the stingers on you this time. Change it up. Just hope we can keep the zombies away. Ooh, why don't you chill out, buddy? Damn. Okay, I need a decoy. Oh, no, the storm's right here. And there's another abomination. Okay. Let's try to take him out as fast as we can. Because he's just about to heal, so we might as well just let him. Maybe we can just get them to take each other out. Lightning striking. One of you shoot a laser. Actually, both of you will while I'm in here. There you go. One t kills the other. Unless they're smart and they don't do that and they spread apart. Oh, like my cheeks. Holy shit. Okay, maybe I didn't really think this through. Oh, yep. Yep. Definitely looking that way. Oh, and we walked like one step too far away. So now he's going to go heal again. Bastard. Right, we'll, we'll get one last crack at him. Oh, please don't knock me. Please don't knock me. Fuck. I, I, all right. You know what? You win, Abomination. You win. It's just too crazy for me right now. Come on. Let me refill this. Let's get out of here. You win, Abomination. I'm going to the Dark Aether. Congrats, bro. What the oh, make it around the corner. Fuck. And we get struck by lightning on the ground. Talking about kicking you when you're down. Let me buy another self revive. Thank you. And let's make it to the Dark Aether before I succumb to the storm. I'll say one downside to these weapons is despite them just being pistols, the movement speed on them isn't like very fast, at least with the build I got on these. Not the time, lightning. There we go. Let's confirm this. And uh, go to the Dark Aether now before my mass breaks, please. 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 I'm um, down. Someone said last time just to stay down as you're going in the Dark Aether. And I'll save myself revive. You can't die in a loading screen. I hope. We're really tripping and falling into the finish here. Oh, nope. We're on our feet. We're good. All according to plan. Now give me the abomination. Let's get this over with. I already fought plenty of you today. If there wasn't an Aether Storm, I would have killed like 12 more. And I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm going to ask you for here, Elder Sigil. I need me some mags of holding and some legendary Aether tools. Nothing else. Actually, I'll take some, some nice pack crystals. But I would, pref I would prefer literally anything else, though. I actually, I won't say literally anything else. I will prefer some other things. But we, we already know we got to use our daemon on this. We can't play up close and personal with these swarms or stingers or whatever, which one they are. It's too dangerous with the little self-revives that we have and the amount of zombies that are in here. And that's why we brought this bad boy to do all of our long-range dirty work. Let's armor through it. Eat the laser. Broke the face. Half health now. Oh, zombie dropped a decoy. How kind. I'll just wait for him to shoot a laser like right now. And let's go in on him. He's getting there. He's close. Maybe we use these to get our Aether Shroud back. This is so good for crowd control, actually. This is like the perfect combo of weapons. 
you shoot a laser, of course, if I'm not ready. I'm trying to shoot it from a distance. He thinks he's Chris Kyle. There you go. Shoot that laser. That'll be the last laser you ever shoot. Perfect. Zombies, if you guys could please leave me alone so I can check my reward. Thanks. Holy shit, there's a lot of you. Stay the hell away from me. Damn. Hop off. They're on my Johnson the way Linden be. That's a bar. Give me that. I'll take the mortar strike and I'll be on my way. And that took up a good chunk of our time. So we really got to make sure we try to stay in this outlast almost the entire time that it's active. Because if we make any mistakes trying to take down our rocket reactors, like if we go down too many times, we're going to be cutting it close getting out of here. Let's start it up. Let's get to work. I'm very confident that these can carry us through it. We just got to spray and pray that we don't get surrounded. Just got to do a little backpedaling, a little shooting. And by the time we get one loop done here, there should be ammo on the ground for us. Actually, you know what? We can kind of push through. We keep this at head level. Fight on through and pick some ammo up on the way. It's just that easy. These are actually gnarly. I can't believe we found the power couple of pistols. The zombie slayers and the boss slayer. It's just way too easy. We're all getting eight. Ooh, I'm about to get eight. Aether Shroud. Haha, -ha. where'd I go? Dumbass bitches. That's the contract. See your way out. Ooh, another MAGA holding. Let's go. Now we're just missing our legendary Aether tool. I'm sure they're saving that for the finale. Our entire last reward is going to be filled with them. We made some of our time back. That was flawless. Now let's do our speed run technique. No, oh, this ain't that fast if I pull the shoot too quick. All right, I had to say something about speed. Still got it though. We recovered. Make it through the arch. And decoy. Start it up. Don't knock me. Don't knock me. Go to the decoy. You, you fucking, you dumb fucks. That's not how the game mechanics work. That's what I was talking about with making dumb mistakes. Mangler, sit. There we go. Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Uh, monkey bomb. Why am I fumbling? This is the easiest contract in the game. Okay. We use basically all of our decoys and a monkey bomb just on this first one. We still got two cashmere so we should be fine and we got two self revives we just gotta not fumble on these next two let's throw one right away get to work all right one more we can aether shroud for this one if we show if we so choose and i do please activate there we go we can save our cashmere for grabbing the reward oh a nuke don't even Man, I was really hoping for that. Wish we could have gotten us a legendary tool, but no, the game likes to be greedy. We got it all done in 10 minutes, almost exactly 10 minutes. Let's get out of here before the game decides to crash or whatever fucked up thing it's thinking of doing to me. Cashmere, go. Oh, go. Beautiful. I just wanted a little extra XP on the way out. Just for fun. This does one last fuck you to these zombies. And I'm leaving. Easy game. Didn't struggle at all. Well, despite my debilitating disability of being a dumbass, uh, I think these weapons did pretty well. Oh, uh, we really got into a groove with them later into the game where we found out that our daemon is really just for bosses. It does really well against like anything that's like an HVT. And our stingers are really nice at clearing out big hordes of zombies. You can just sit there and fire away and almost all of them will go down as long as you're aiming at head height. And of course, MAGA holding really helps these weapons out, giving them just an unlimited pool of ammo to shoot from because they usually don't have that large of mags, I only use the mags on these weapons that increase the ammo capacity overall, but I don't think they'd be nearly as effective if you're constantly reloading them all the time. So if you're using these, use some mag holding with it. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.